Uh, that's a great form of camouflage from underneath when the, a prey item is looking up and having that light coloration uh, helps them blend in and almost camouflage themselves with their surroundings. Also on her back, she almost looks sandy in color. And that's because out there in Asia, uh, they are uh, more regarded as a bit of a desert vulcan. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing her, because that's the last you'll ever see her. Um, but uh, they are regarded as a desert vulcan, so that lovely sandy brown colour uh, just helps them blend in that little bit more. Now, hands up in the audience if you're a male. Excellent. Keep your hands up for me. Now, keep your hands up if you're a male that can multitask. <laughs> you can put your hand down. Yeah. You see the ones that are still left? Their hands are being pulled down by their female counterpart. It's great. Uh, now, this is quite a difficult part of the display for me because I have to multitask. I have to talk and be dinner all at the same time. And it looks pretty easy, uh, but because I am a male, multitasking is tricky uh, and sometimes I get a bit tied up. Uh, so I do apologise if in a second or two I go a little bit quiet, but it's probably because there's a falcon coming at me at about 100 miles an hour. So keep watching the falcon and you hopefully, as long as she's not getting too pestered uh, by those corvids above her, she may well change her tactic and stoop down and start chasing this funny little prey item. Now, today's prey item is just a piece of cart in a tube. No animals are harmed in the making of this bird of prey display. However, uh, Milo thinks that that is dinner. Uh, so, there we go. She's just changing a little bit there. She thought I was going to hide it away. And then she goes, oh, actually, I might just tackle.